Hello everyone, I am Dr. Sapna Didwal. I am working as a professor in the Department of Management at St. Andrews Institute of Technology and Management. This is lecture 20 of Consumer Protection, which is taught in BBA 6th semester. The topic I am going to cover in this lecture are Ethical Advertising, Role of Ethics in Advertising, Ethical Aspect of Advertising, Unethical Advertising. In lecture number 18-19, we discussed about ethical marketing. In lecture 20 and 21, we are going to discuss about ethical advertising and how to regulate ethical advertising. I'm starting with the first topic that is ethical advertising. Ethics is a set of moral principles, norms and values. It is a branch of social science dealing with goods and bad and hence moral duties and responsibilities of an individual as a social and rational animal. In other words, ethics are concerned with those values that determine the moral conduct. Moral principles are the standards of right or wrong. Ethical advertising means showing truthful and correct information to consumers and not discrediting the rival products ethical advertising does include uh, ethical uh, advertising doesn't include obscene or immoral things or material in advertising it doesn't show or advertise uh, advertise against the public interest it doesn't conceal information that affects the human life and it doesn't misguide the public so it is very clear from this definition that what is unethical advertising unethical advertising is which degrades the rival product or substitute product or which gives misguided information or which gives false and wrong information that is unethical unethical advertising include concealment of information and vitality effects which is very vital for the human life unethical advertising include it makes the tall or false claims. It includes the obscene or immoral material. It is against the national and public interests. So all the points, if there are, these are in there the advertisement. Those advertisements are called as unethical advertising. Now. Role of ethics in advertising. The advertising has a very vital role in passing information about the products to consumers. Thus, advertising should not go against the public interest and moral standard. The first is consumer interest. Second is increase in profit. Third is increase in goodwill. Fourth is increase in standard of living, then social value. So, First role of ethics in advertising is consumer interest. Advertising is done for the consumer's interest. Therefore, they should not be cheated. Advertising succeed only with consumer trust. The effectiveness of advertising depends upon its reputation and reliability. Advertising succeed only due to consumer's trust. It is well written by Sandes and... Uh, Freiburger, he's, they both say that if the advertising loses the confidence of large number of people, then it will lose its effectiveness and it will, it will end itself. So true advertising brings more consumers to the business. It does not drive them away. Whereas unethical advertising keep people away from the products of the organization whereas ethical advertising gives maximum satisfaction to the consumers and true advertising promotes the consumers interest and creates the permanent customers for the business now the so second is increase in profit advertising not only result in profit for the organization but it also has long-term benefit so it should be true guide for the consumers the consumer standards of living oh, sorry 
advertising they should uh, sorry advertising should be in accordance with the social interested objectives now increase in goodwill following a things in advertising enhances the goodwill of the organizations and product people do not forget false advertising and they try to avoid the company or organizations which does such advertising so use of ethic creates a mutual confidence between the organization and the consumer it increases business ethical advertising is the insurance for good business now increase in standard of living so the consumer standard of living rises due to advertising advertising informs them about the new products and how to use them therefore advertising should provide correct information to the consumers by following the correct ethics the uh, business can ascertain whether the claims made in the advertising or consumers can ascertain whether the claims are in the advertising are true or false then comes social value use of ethics protects the country's social values on the basis of ethics advertising can be classified as good or bad or true or false and high ethical standards can be set so there are ethical values in it advertising the ignorance of which is very dangerous for the advertising business advertising is mix a mixture of art and facts which should be based on ethics only now the next topic is ethical aspect of advertising those advertisements which cheat consumers misguide them are vulgar or vulgar hurt human feeling disrespect any religion or community give rise to criminality and disquiet to go against the ethics of advertisement so therefore it is necessary to know all the aspect of ethical advertising these aspect are these aspect of advertising are deceptive advertising there should be no deceptive advertising so a deceptive advertising is are against the ethics the tendency to deceive is rising in many advertisements consumers are being cheated by making false claims about the products a lot of attention is paid to make advertisement more attractive while little thought is given to make it truthful so advertising should not indulge into deceptive one there should not be any deceptive advertisement now second is moral degradation there should be advertising should not follow moral degradation the instead they should follow the moral degradation ethics of the advertising advertisement have also caused moral degradation vulgar representation and other attractions are being used by the advertisers to degrade moral values of the people then advertisers give rise to other tendencies that cause moral degradation also they give more space to uh, girls or something like that they are for in the advertisement to enhance the appeal of the product such pictures in the pictures in the film poster magazines on televisions have resulted in more moral degradation of the people of the society the advertisement should not indulge into these moral degradation activities then not to make offensive advertisement due to rising competition some advertisement tend to become more offensive to make advertisement more effective they break all the rules and ignore ethics they are in race to make advertisement more attractive they use vulgar photos for their advertisement then next one is not to make false advertisement many advertisements give misleading messages as some of the information claim facts are exaggerated many many times such advertisement 
चीट पीपल मैनी पीपल कॉल दिस सेल्स थ्रू फ्रॉड सो एडवर्टीजमेंट पीपल दे शूडेंट मेक सच फॉल्स एडवर्टीजमेंट दैन नेक्स्ट वन इज़ नॉट टू मेक अल्यूरिंग एडवर्टीजमेंट many advertisement give alluring and break the rules of ethical advertising these are many advertisements in the market which try to allure the buyer like 100% discount or something like that they these matches messages or advertisement are also misleading advertisements and unethical on the part of advertisers then is not to not to make any indecent advertisement Use of indecent advertisement or vulgar pictures are also against the ethics of advertising. It hurts the feelings of the people, or it hurts the gen feelings of the general public, and create a bad qualities in the society. The last one is not to make advertisement with harmful effects. So nowadays there are many advertisement which ad advertise harmful product advertisement. promote use of such products like advertisement of cigarettes liquor tobacco these are against the interest of the public so they they these actually these advertisements are very unethical and very harmful for the society advertis uh, advertisement uh, sh advertiser should not make these type of advertisement and they should follow ethics of advertising Now the next topic is unethical advertising. Following are the examples of unethical advertising: untruthful claims, advertising which offers mixtures and substances and promises loss of weight, growth of hair, etc. These are untruthful claims. Then exaggerated claims. The exaggeration in consumers' advertisement is only in the headlines, but also in strong visuals also. in slogans also in visuals also then unverified claims made in the language that is ambiguous so advertisement of energy drinks tell us about the number of vitamin vitamins how they help children to grow strong and hair such advertisements are also unethical advertisements then these are the examples of unethical advertisement then use of testimonials endorsement advertisers pay handsome fee to film and sports personalities who have nothing to do with the product use of the product but they do they do endorse their products such endorsement testimonials are unethical then creating erroneous impressions advertisers fre frequently exploit the weaknesses of indians for foreign products and by giving foreign brand name actually they this is very unethical part on their part they are doing fraud to indian consumers by giving a foreign brand name to the indian products just to exploit the indian consumers feeling then next one is advertisement of alcohol to tobacco and prohibited do pro prohibited in india but still few advertisings they do indirectly give it advertisement of these things and this is again unethical on part of these advertisers so these are examples of unethical advertising in india few examples of unethical advertising in india now if, if any query is there please do contact me if any any writing mistakes is there please do contact me these are the questions which are related to the above topics Thank you. Thank you so much.